Hi, welcome to Travels with the Russells. Well, today we're going to show you around the Jasmine Palace Hotel in Hagada, the typical rooms. So, uh, the current room we're in is 1221. So, uh, if you'd like to have a, join us, we'll have a look around in the showroom. Two, one. Key entry is card. And it's card in the slot. For your lights and your power and your air conditioning. So as we come in, we've got various light switches. This one is obviously for the bathroom. I'll show you that in a moment. First of all, we'll just have a look at the wardrobe space. So, we've got some of our stuff in here. Not the biggest wardrobe. I don't know what this is. But you certainly can't access it. I suppose plenty of shelving space. Spare pillows, laundry bag, get your laundry done kind of case stands get everywhere and then quite a spacious room so first thing I kind of notice is that there's not a single double bed uh, these are two what you could call large singles they're certainly not a typical single bed if you look at the pillow here <coughs> on a single bed it would kind of occupy the pillow or no, well, the pillow would occupy the bed, but this is much bigger. There are some dirty marks on the, the sheets, but this is actually, because I put the case on there and got the wind, <laughs> so it's my fault. So let's look at what we, the facilities in the Air room. conditioning, as standard. No extra charge or anything for air conditioning. Temperature controls, power on and off your normal standard kind of air conditioning a little bit noisy if you have it on full blast but this is Egypt you do need it a bit it. surprised for Egypt because there's a kettle a kettle and uh, just a couple of sachets of tea and coffee there so not bad the plugs are kind of the euro plugs these are euro adapted to UK British for our chargers and things like that no USB chargers in here. Bring your own. Don't forget those. Moving over. A reasonable size TV, I suppose. It's uh, just hung on the wall. Yeah. I'm just checking to see. Yeah, there is some USB plugs on there. But... Uh, it is, of course, all Arabic television or Egyptian television. So the hotel is only 10 years old. Jasmine Palace was built in 2014. One set of drawers, but decent drawers. Nothing wrong with those. A telephone. For reception there is no Wi-Fi in the rooms and you can't buy it but there is Wi-Fi in the reception a small I think that's a convertible chair to bed if you have children you may find this folding out again more light switches and then your balcony so through to the balcony quite a spacious balcony actually couple of chairs on here and by the fact there's an ashtray you are allowed to smoke if you're so inclined <laughs> now I would say because the you can see that the walls go like that I would suggest that the balconies above are slightly smaller so ground floor have kind of a, a patio area we have quite a large balcony and then I would suggest they're getting a bit smaller but as you can see Pretty nice view. The sea is straight down there in the beaches. If you want to watch our uh, 
tour of the hotel then uh, that will be up there somewhere if you click on that it'll give you a full tour of the hotel this is just a room tour so 2021 yep it's okay no problem a little bit dated but it's Egypt usually there is a plug socket outside here on the balcony and going back through the room you can see it's quite a spacious room so what else is there well we've got to obviously drawers keep your belongings in as I say unusually a kettle moving across in this little uh, area we've got a safe which is free to use put your valuables in there and I say you could get a laptop in that I've got certainly loads of stuff in there I haven't got a laptop in there but uh, I'm sure I could fit one in and a fridge which is very useful and again on all inclusive you should get two bottles of water per day in your fridge and this is day two and we haven't had any yet but uh, who knows let's go through to the bathroom then oh sorry there is a big mirror there <laughs> full length mirror right let's go have a look at the bathroom so there's quite a large extractor fan noise in here but it's not too bad on the door shut it is quite a spacious bathroom but again maybe a little bit dated but or you could say Egyptian style so of course we've got the uh, toilet of course we've got a telephone in the toilet and the extractor kind of a lot of wasted space really decent sized sink quite modern but a lot of kind of silicon amateur work by the look of it nice thick towels nothing wrong with the towels hand soap is provided but we bring all our own stuff a shaving mirror or a makeup mirror magnifying one and a large mirror with lights above hairdryer guess a decent hairdryer and again place for your toothbrush or razor and, and two different kinds there then through to the shower again towels provided nice, nice fluffy towels a Again, you see these in, in uh, a, a lot in the Arabic countries where you've got a kind of a, a sit down and wash your feet and a half tub shower. You certainly couldn't lay down in that. You'd have to sit on that seat and have your feet in there. Not much. Okay. Again, if you are less able, that's quite a step over and this is a shiny floor. So you need a towel on the floor to make sure there's no rubber mat or anything to make sure you don't slip. Decent enough shower, movable shower head, the normal modern thing. And a, this is a clothesline, so you hang up, wet swimming kit or whatever you've got. And again, soap dispenser and a shampoo dispenser. Doesn't look the best, it's going to kind of float on the top, I'm not sure what it is. We'll be using our own, but it is here, it is provided. So, bathroom, little bin, and then here, don't put paper down the toilet. Again, a bit like a lot of places in Greece. It will block up if you do. Okay, well, so that was our tour of... 1221 in Hagada Jasmine Palace we'll be back with another room because we are moving rooms not for any particular reason is because we're leaving the hotel and going somewhere else and then we'll be coming back so I will assume we're gonna get a different room maybe not who knows we'll find out see you soon stay tuned two, two, three, bye so same thing key card straight in spacious rooms same kind of exactly the same wardrobes exactly the same shelves tea and coffee flat screen telly phone fridge 
with what provided safe yes reasonable size safe get yeah, squeeze a laptop in there bedside table what I think is a sofa bed and our upside view so I'll take you out there in a second has got a connecting door and with all connecting doors there's no handle to open the door Maybe from the other side. side so both people must open the door to actually connect so that's fine family family room right so basically that the same decent size room bathrooms same decent sized bathroom toilet big sink and this rather deep shower unit which is a, a big step it's got to be 18 inches down into it and a fixed shower head so as I said I'll show you the other room and this is it so the room balcony view have a look off the balcony here so it's the wave pool and got the sea down there nice garden pool view a bit further out of the way down here so thanks very much for watching and we'll see you on the next one bye